Hello, I'm Mansoor Ahmad. I teach radiology at the University of Minnesota School of Dentistry. In this video, in next five or six minutes, we are going to learn how to write a radiographic note using the seven radiographic features with an acronym of BLAST. In a previous video, we have talked about the acronym BLAST. The seven radiographic features of a lesion to describe are border, location, internal entity or internal content, size, shape, effects on the neighboring structures, and density. Remember the acronym BLAST to recall all the seven radiographic features of a lesion. Let's use this radiograph to review a radiology note in the BLAST format. We'll describe the lesion in the mandibular left molar region. Here is one example. A well-defined, corticated, oval radiolution defect is superimposed over the epices of carious mandibular left first molar. This lesion extends from the area of the distal root of mandibular left second molar to the mesial root of the mandibular left first molar. Superiorly, the lesion is a few millimeters from the alveolar crest. Inferiorly, the lesion has displaced the inferior alveolar canal. Compared to the right side, the roots of the second molar are distally displaced. The word A means there is a single lesion. This also means the lesion is localized, not generalized. We can rule out any systemic condition by this description. The words well-defined corticated describe the border of the lesion. Typically, cysts or benign tumors have well-defined and corticated margins. By using these words, we are ruling out infection or malignancy. The word oval describes the shape of the lesion. Typically, a cyst is circular or oval. Some of the benign tumors may also be circular or oval. The word radiolucent describes the density of the lesion. You can see that by now, using a few words, we have described the border, shape, and density. Using the word radiolucent, we are already thinking of a lesion that has fluid or soft tissues. We are not thinking of an osseous or fibrosseous lesion. Now we are describing the location of the lesion. It is superimposed over the epices of the carious mandibular left first molar. Create the habit of using the word superimposed. The word superimposed means that the lesion may be buccal to the roots, lingual to the roots, or around the roots. We do not yet know the relationship of the lesion with the roots. A panoramic radiograph is a two-dimensional image. Therefore, we have to mentally think if this lesion is actually associated with the roots. Again, make a habit to use the word superimposed. We also use the word carious in the sentence. This word is telling us the cause of the lesion. We are describing things that are happening adjacent to the lesion. Now we are already making a radiographic diagnosis of a radicular cyst associated with a pulp exposed mandibular left second molar. I could have used a few words in my note describing the extent of the carious lesion. Here I am describing the size of the lesion. I'll not use the term a large lesion or a small lesion. Such descriptive terms are not precise enough. A panoramic radiograph is often magnified and distorted. Therefore, I am not providing the size in millimeters or inches. 
If I see this lesion on a CT or a CBCT scan, I will provide size in millimeters. I have intentionally remained non-precise by using the word a few millimeters from the alveolar crest. I'm still describing the size of the lesion. I'm describing that the inferior border of the lesion is at the level of the inferior alveolar canal. In the same sentence, I have also described the effect of the lesion. The lesion has displaced the inferior alveolar canal. I'll continue to describe the effect of the lesion on the neighboring structures. This lesion has displaced the roots of the second molar. With this description, I'm thinking of an expensile lesion, a lesion that may have hydraulic pressure. Combining all these descriptions, I can arrive at a radiographic diagnosis of a radicular cyst associated with carious and pulp exposed mandibular left first molar. There you go, an example of radiographic note using blessed format of description. Border, location, internal content or internal entity, size, shape, effects on adjacent structures and density. In many lesions, you may not be able to describe the internal content. In some lesions, an internal content, such as a calcification, may be a critical clue for arriving at a diagnosis. Thank you very much. I'll see you in another video.